There we go. Damn it. Well, uh, welcome. Thank you, Lewis. <laughs> yeah, that thing is on every screen, and I've forgotten to move them. So every scene has um, got its own widgets. So I'm going to have to delete those. Every single one. Yeah, welcome everyone. I didn't do too much this afternoon. Um, I think I did one mainline quest. I was getting that helmet. It wasn't too much. Uh, what I did want to do is the animal. So apparently Deek has um, something for us. So let's go get some animals. Because we activated this and a whole bunch of other quests. Ah, Deek is so happy to see you. And Deek oh. noticed this bag in the room the other day. You must need it to help with your schoolwork. <laughs> Deek has seen one of these before. Deek calls it a knapsack. It has a very bright light inside. Wow. Perfect for gathering and transporting beasts. Oh, pleasant little breeze. I have been thinking about something Professor Howen said in Beasts class, that I should study as many beasts as I can on my own time. She also mentioned that poachers have been active in the area, so perhaps the beasts will be safer with us than out there on their own. Precisely what Deke was thinking. You see, the room knew exactly what you needed, and luckily, Deke can show you how to best use the knapsack and where. Yeah. yeah, I was watching Booster Come as along, well, then. until his game clutched out. Our and first then... stop will be beyond the cap. We can leave now, or you can come and find me to go. Oh wow, he's very, very sensitive. You are one millimeter out and you can't hear him. Um, I do want to quickly go check on the versions and stuff. And then he went to Raptor stream. So I don't want to watch the same game again. Um, I didn't really enjoy that game, to be honest. It also looked nice. I actually looked at it myself. But now that I've seen Booster play it, I was kind of disappointed. I really expected more. Sadly. Because it does look like it could be a nice game. But I think they were a bit hasty to put it on early access. Yeah, it's early access, but they should have waited a little bit. I think it needs a lot more work before it should have even gone to early access. Which is my opinion. It needs a little bit more polishing. Just to make it playable, at least. I'm ready to learn. Yes, let's go. I'm ready to learn how to use the knapsack. Perfect! Deke loves an outing. Hey, Flippers. I'm not sure if they've joined yet or not. Yeah, I was watching Flippers, actually. see if they have joined. Oh, there we go. Well, welcome, everyone. A nasty this. poacher. Deke hated working for him. He did horrible things to beautiful beasts. Well, Ooh. welcome, Flippers Raid. Thank you for the raid. It was during those days that Deke first saw a knapsack. Hey, Crypto. Uh, hey, Black It'll be Cat. nice to see one used for good. I am just getting my animal, my knapsack. 
I'm very behind everyone else with this game. Because I have done everything else. All the side quests and exploring and stuff. Love skin. We have arrived. Deke enjoys coming here to watch the beasts, especially the puffle of puff skins nearby. It will be nice to keep them safe. All you will need to do is get close, direct the open knapsack toward the puff skin, and in it'll go. All right. Oh, what? Well done. What the hell? Stream elements is being an ass. Sorry, Craptor. Um, that is annoying. And now I can't even... Huh. It's like put you in timeout for two minutes. Are you kidding me? That is such nonsense. I'm gonna have to put those words in exclusion. I don't know if... Um, Lewis, do you know how to exclude those words? I honestly, I don't know how to do it when while I'm in stream. I can't believe it just freaking timed out a crypto. Are you bloody kidding me? I'm so annoyed right now. I am so sorry, Crypto. That is awful. Yeah, I mean, what the... Flip. I mean, those aren't even bad words. Thank you for subscribing, Crypto. I am so sorry. I feel so bad now. I don't know what the hell my... My stream element is on like the minimum setting, so it shouldn't even like flag swear words at this point. <laughs> My word. Oh, that's good. Well, I am truly sorry. I don't know why, why it did that. What was I supposed to do? There we go. Oh, awesome. Thank you. Well, your other account is now a, a mod. I really feel bad about what that stupid thing did. Stream elements is just weird sometimes. Well, welcome in any case. Thank you for joining. Really appreciate it. I managed to rescue a puff skein. You can rescue as many as the knapsack will hold. Poachers capture puff skeins and, well, Deke isn't sure what they do with them. Deke is certain they will be safer with you. Now, not all beasts will be as simple to rescue as a puff skein. Deke suggests you next find a beast that can fly. A jobbernol, perhaps. All right. Where would I find one? Deke knows of some to the west, nesting in a large tree overlooking Hogwarts. But we must be careful. Deke has seen <laughs> poachers in the area recently. Deke will I meet you there jealous. <laughs> whenever you're ready. Yeah, I, I think Stream Elements was jealous. Definitely. Yeah, that's a good... What did I get now? Um, how do I see what's in my knapsack? Oh, my word. <laughs> Nobody saw anything. <laughs> how do I see what's in my bag? I didn't listen to a word he said. 
meet. Okay, so I have to meet him somewhere. Let's go. This cheap element's just throwing me com off completely, damn it. <laughs> oh, thank you guys. Making me blush and stuff. What are you up to now? <laughs> See if I can fly there. <gasps> Ooh, I didn't hit the wall. I'm getting it. <laughs> well, thank you for subscribing with both your accounts, Crypto. I really appreciate that. And welcome back into the chat. <laughs> Hello, Deke. Shall we continue? Oh, good. Deke was worried about you, what with all the poachers in the area. Perhaps we should work quickly. The Jobanals are just here in this large tree. If it's helpful, um, Deke has seen Levioso used to slow flying beasts. Easier to get in close and use the knapsack. Okay. Um... Then oh. I shall go and rescue a job and all. Good luck. Deke will be waiting. Well, that's the bestest friend you can have. Oh, but I want one of those. So he said I must... Um, okay, hold on. Let's change one of these spells down here. Um, Leviosa. You said Leviosa, right? Okay, so that's a female, and they're both females. They're different colors. They're all female. What the heck? Um Level. Now now, I'm only trying to help. Uh. Mm. Wrong one. Damn it. Let's try you. Wonder. Professor Howen will never believe this. Okay, well, I don't want to grab two females. Okay, let's go speak to this dude. I rescued a jobanol. Deke hopes your jobanol finds the knapsack nice and cozy. I Poachers so want too. them for their feathers and are not kind when they gather them. Are there any other beasts nearby? Just one that Deke knows of. A herd of <laughs> moon calves. Oh. They live in a clearing of trees up this footpath. Deke will see you there. Oh, I love moon calves. But you couldn't, like, apparate me with you. How rude. I mean, I'll just run there, see what I can find. I think I've cleared most of this area from Moonstone. At least it's not too far. Oh, and I can activate this one. How nice to see you, my yes, young friend. You too. Hello, Deke. Is this the clearing you mentioned? It is. 
Moon calves gather near the large tree with the spiral pattern in front, but only under the light of the moon. So, unfortunately, unless you have a way to hasten time, you might sometimes have to wait until nightfall to see them. Ew. I shall go and find a moon calf then. Deke will be waiting for your return. Yeah, we shall be just like sleeping. Thinks you should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. Oh, I am. Let's um, let's sleep on the floor here. Yes, because it's so safe outside. There we go. And now we go get a moon car. Um, these are gorgeous. Okay, uh, let's grab you. Out of range. Oh, I need to hide. Oh, no, you don't. Bugger. Just let's try it again. My F button is too F and far. And I run all over the bloody place after you lot. Do cooperate, won't you? Yeah, that would be nice, wouldn't it? Uh. Oops. <laughs> well, that could also work, wouldn't it? Settle yourself. I mean you no harm. Oh, I caught a white one. I think. I honestly didn't see. <laughs> if I did that, I would be so stiff from the ground. <laughs> yeah, same here. I mean, when I was younger, I could just plonk down anywhere and fall asleep. <laughs> now I wouldn't even dare. Hello. Climb in my bag, why don't you? <laughs> Now I've got the hair. I'm not going to hurt you. Yeah, I've got a blue one. Cool. I have no idea if I've got a male and female now. That sucks. Um, there was moonstone around here. Where was it? That's a good man. Okay, but the moon It was calf. a bit trickier than the others, yeah. but I have a moon calf now. Another beast, safe and sound. Shame we didn't see the moon calves dancing. It's a marvelous sight. Deke supposes you're finished here. You'll be able to rescue many more beasts, but for now, let's bring the ones you've gathered back to the room. All right. Deke yes. will meet you back in the room whenever you're ready. Oh, I did see them dancing. I had to bloody dance after them. Need to read from stream elements there you are which now, one are you need to show the beast you rescued their new home that's new but um 
not enough room to let them out here. Imagine all those beasts running amok. That wouldn't do at all. Perhaps if you focus on what your beasts need, the room will provide. Stream Elements is alive. Oh, wow. Hmm. What exactly did you think of? <laughs> it's tiny. Oh, wow. Heavens! Hey. You've done it! But what is it? Deke isn't sure. <laughs> Only one way to find out. Meet you inside when you're ready. Oh wow, I love the trees. That is gorgeous. I like it. <laughs> I should hope not, Lewis. <laughs> Look at this. It's amazing. Where are we, Deke? Look at this. It Moons? seems to be a place for your beasts to live, a vivarium of some sort. Well, oh, your awful beasts to will say. be quite comfortable here. <laughs> They'll live healthy, safe lives. Perhaps you want to release them, let them see their new home. Yeah, how do I do that? H? Oh, oh. So what did I get? Male? I, I got two males, really? kidding me? Well, okay, fine. Yeah, how do I release them? Oh, just like that? Hey, it wasn't done! Oh, oh it's so gorgeous. It's absolutely adorable. Oh! Ooh. Oh, this is a pretty one. Deke thinks the vivarium will be a fitting new home for your beasts. Indeed. I only hope we'll have enough space for all of them. Deke hopes so too. But if you do run out of room, well, Madame Peck helps. at Brood and Peck in Hogsmeade <laughs> will help to find safe homes for them. Any beasts the room can't hold? Yes, she's well known for helping to care for beasts in need, and she'll give you a fair price for them. Speaking of care, beasts that are well fed and groomed will provide you with valuable magical materials, such as puff skein hair, for example. If you gather some magical materials from your beasts, Dee can show you how to use them. Very well. I shall let you know when I have some. Uh, hello, little dude. Uh, what the hell? <laughs> oh my goodness. I've got to change that. Holy cow. That was awful. Damn it. Put this dude in here. Yeah, don't kill them. It's so cute. Oh, that's furry. Look at those eyes. Four minutes for moon calf fur. Okay, awesome. He is pretty. Okay, where did the moon calf get? I mean, the yeah, the other moon calf. 
He's there, and the puff skin is over here. This place is huge. Need to make a feeder. Oh, we can make a feeder. That'd be awesome. Oh, there you go. Yes, a poo. Oh, already collected from him. Nice. I don't think I collected from the bird already. Is that? I love that wrinkly skin. What kind of feet does he got? Like duck feet? Awesome. Ooh, I can um This like little babes. Oh, there's a chest in here. Floor. Oh, I've got a new floor. That's cool. Huh. This is like a world within a little. Some magical materials, Deke. Now Deke can show you how to use them. First, you'll need to use this spellcraft to conjure an enchanted loom. Mm. An enchanted loom? Exactly. Finally. It will allow you to use your magical materials to weave magic into the very threads of your clothing, making your clothing more useful in a variety of ways. Why don't you try it? Deke thinks you'll be impressed with what the loom can do. I'll go and experiment with the loom now. Yeah, I definitely will. I have been waiting patiently to make the loom. Hmm. I will make it right here. But I've already got that. What is this? Oh, I've got that too. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Well, can I see what it looks like, please? And I bloody will rotate the object. Yeah, which way is the front? This? Are you still here? Are you gonna pick up your daughter from school? Oh, from school band, nice. What did your daughter play? So, uh, these are ones I'm wearing. Flute? No. Oh, that is awesome. I'm 
used to play guitar myself many many moons ago not that I'm very musical my sister's daughter is very musical she's actually just finished her studies in Tennessee I guess that's what I'm wearing currently. I'm confused. Hold on. Let me go sell all the stuff that I don't need. There's, um, I'm really confused right now. Rugged dealing club. I've got like a ton of stuff in my inventory. But I should go sell this. I am wearing the best stuff. Yeah, let's go to Focus Meet quickly. Um, Actually, when I was um, in high school, I played guitar. And when I was very little, not little, I was in primary school. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Eight or nine years old, I did do piano as well. I love piano. It's well, very I'm windy. all out of the new sock, so if your feet are smelly, you'll have to work it out for yourself. Well, Plenty for your perusal oh. today. Take your time. You got better stuff than I'm wearing. You do. But I can't wear it, so that sucks. Ooh, gloves. Let's buy the gloves. You won't be disappointed. That's a glad rags promise. Better not be. Just I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Back to you. Be sure to stop by with it. Uh, let's see here. Gloves. It's pretty much what we were wearing. Just two up. Okay. Well, at least I don't have to change the look. Bonus. Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. I'm going to sell that because it's no good. Spreading everything. What is this? Elegant runic cape. I'm very tempted to buy the stuff that I don't. Oh, Chinese fireball. Very tempted to buy that. So very tempted. A druid wolf cape. So I don't know if I will be getting all this stuff out in the wild. You know, and all the chests. Hmm. What do you guys think? Should I buy it? The Ruby Chinese Fireball. A musical family who played instruments at own night. Oh, that is awesome. One of my best friends plays the saxophone, but he is super Blime. I can listen to that man play saxophone all day long. And then my, my eldest sister's 
mother-in-law is an opera singer. So my niece got her talents. She sings very well. I'm buying it. You won't be disappointed. That's a glad rags promise. I know, but I'm selling it back to you. Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. Here you go. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure to stop by whenever you're about. Yeah, she just finished studying for, um... I don't think what you call it. I was thinking more along the lines of a surprise purchase. It is a special birthday after all. English is really escaping me today. in that case, I know she's been on about getting herself a lining for her What do you call the people that do the music behind the scenes? Like... Well, that sounds rather ordinary. Why don't I simply buy her a new hat? Oh, the no, place where you go to record the music? She has been mentioning how she wishes Those to people? Repel dark arts. Repel dark arts? It sounds rather... Damn it. I can't think of the word now. Yeah, the, the people that work at the studio, that do the work. The, yeah, producer, there we go music producer yeah she just she just finished her studies to become a music producer thank you so she she's she's a music producer there we go and she sings so it's the word I was looking for not sure what she's going to do. She just got married too, which is amazing. She turned 24 yesterday. Very, very happy for her. Yeah, where were we going? Back to Hogwarts. To the air. To the loo. <laughs> to enhance the clothes. Oh, to be 24 again? Oh, uh, what I would give to be 24 right now. What I wouldn't give. Okay, so this is what I'm wearing. is outlined in blue. Okay, now it makes a bit more sense. View upgrade. That's a nice upgrade it's already got. But we need to get a better hat. To get level and a better mask everything else is 85 ish it's just the hat and the mask that's not that good okay view traits Ooh. yeah even 35 right Actually, no, 24, because 24, I can get on a ship and go just everywhere, because you're still the right age to do stuff like that, and you've got energy. At 35, I was very settled, and you had responsibilities and, you know, stuff. <laughs> 24, I was still very much unattached, no responsibilities world was my waster so yeah 25 absolutely oh no I, I had I was super happy when I was like 24 25 uh, awesome well drive safe crapter thank you for popping in I really appreciate that Sorry again for Streamlabs being a douche canoe. Yeah, I hope to see you in the next one. Okay. There, I can put three things in here, three upgrades. Upgrade slot level three. Well, how does this work? Level one. Uh, 
Oh, so it's got recipes, I see. A douche canoe? Yeah. So we can make this stuff. Or the level one stuff. Because that's what the in because we've got puff skin puff skin fur. So we can make three of these. Cream, send you. Oh. Okay, I, w I, w I want that one. How do I do that? Like that. Oh. Loom for improvement? Really? What is that? <laughs> It's a word that, that, that um, a bunch of girls in a previous game that I, mobile game that I played for like two years, called just about everybody that we didn't like. And the word just kind of stuck. But go, go Google what a douche is. It's very derogatory. It's used in a derogatory way. <laughs> and it's a fun word. Just rolls off your tongue. <laughs> Good. I want to do another one, but I want to do one from goblins because I need I need more protection from goblins. I really do. Do another one. Is that F? Yeah, let's do another one. So I can't use anything else. Very cool, fairies, fairies. Lovely English there. Okay, cool. <laughs> well, it's not a boat you want to be in, under. <laughs> Literally, it's not a boat you want to be in. <laughs> I know, it's not you I wanted to speak to. Does it sound like a bad ride? Exactly. Oh my... God, that was loud. My ears! Holy cow! Oh no, it's green. Nope. Go back, go back. Thank you. I never mind. We will just leave that as is. That was super loud. Oh wow. My point, yes. Okay, there was another... Um, what's another quest here? Where is it? Astronomer Wing. Yeah, I want to go here and get this quest. Yes. The logistics are staggering. Deafening. 
that was that was def definitely deafening. Oh, and there's some something else I wanted to go do today. A whole bunch of things I want to go do. Um, where are we going? Come look. Why are we going? Really? You couldn't take me around the stairs. I really love that piece of music they're playing. It's one of my favorites. It's very soothing. No canoeing. Ooh, what do you want? If I could have a moment of your time. Can I help you? I believe you can. I'm Sophronia, by the way. And I need help from someone Weird who's at name. least a fifth it's year. Different. Are you familiar with Herodiana Byrne? Uh, don't answer that. Of course you're not. No one seems oh, to know too. of her but me. She's only the single greatest Depulso master of all time. Even taught at Hogwarts, briefly. Sounds fascinating. Uh, I love classical music. I could listen to class, but I have to be in the mood. M music to me is all about mood. I have to be... I can listen to any music, depending on my mood. Like literally any music. Um, she sounds fascinating. How interesting. I'm amazed I've never heard of her. It's a travesty she's not more well known. I often read about great witches in my limited free time. There are many. Whilst reading about her, I learned that she built a secret to Pulso training room here at Hogwarts. But in typical clever Herodiana fashion, one cannot access it unless one knows to Pulso, which of course, third years aren't taught. And you're a third year, so... Quick one, aren't you? According to what I've read, her Snooty. signature outfit may still be there. Oh yeah, Mozart I would is love awesome. to see it. Would you that get Herodiana's signature brilliant. outfit and show it to me? Um, sure. If you tell me where to go, I'll see what I can do about it. Simply go to the Hall of Herodiana. It's at the base of the Defense Against the Dark Arts Tower. There, you'll find a series of Depulso puzzles, concealing pieces of Herodiana's ensemble. Very well. I shall let you know if I find anything. I know, these were the ones that flippers I were can't doing, wait and they look to see Herodiana's so famous difficult. ensemble. Perhaps I'll make myself a copy. Did I get myself into... Suppose I should look for that secret hall Sophronia told me about. It does sound interesting. Now I've seen it. It sounds difficult. But I do need to know how to, to do that stuff. And to get this stuff and to do the things. Which way are we going? I can't see. Look. What the heck? Don't you get disappearing on me? What the hell? Ooh. Oh, the buttons. I forgot we can push the buttons. Oh my goodness. This must be the entrance to the Hall of Herodiana. Better go inside and I've actually find those never puzzles. seen that button on that wall before. It wasn't there before the the race started. Because I've been down on that floor and there was never a button there. Otherwise I would have tried to push it. Oh wow. Now to see if Herodiana Byrne was as good as Sophronia said she was. So we just need to push it? Okay, cool. And we, we can push it. It's very pretty. Easy. See, that chest looks interesting. That wasn't too hard. I wonder what's next. And oh, that's a beautiful cave. Rebellion. Nothing else? Really? 
not even a chest. Oh. Um, okay, what do we do here? No, that's not what I meant to do. Okay. If you can climb up there. Because it kinda looks like you should be able to. Should have gone on top first. On top of where? Should I reset this? I can always reset it. How do you reset it again? I see. The switch reset everything. Good to know. Because I was wondering if there was stuff at the top there. Nothing? Is nothing? Revenia. Yeah, I don't see anything at the top there. But it does look like you should be able to. I think I'm getting the hang of this now. Just one left. Like, why build it so high if there's nothing at the top? I mean, I don't see anything. Oh wow, it is pouring outside. Rebellion. Oh, I just saw Flippers do this one. Ha! Thing. Was it this one? Or did I watch? I know I watched somebody do this one. And honestly, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> I really wasn't. Um. It's so stupid that they make you go forward every time you do a spell. Okay. That's this. wonder can I stand on this will it work I don't think it will no it won't 
You have to get that to work. Get it there just to hold okay, well up. Um, I mean, go back that way. That's not gonna work. I can't stand on it. Too. Bend over and smack it on the side, man. Damn it. Turns. Hmm. Yeah, when I by the time I jump, um, it's gone past already. Oh, hold on. Let me see if I can do somebody else's set. Now, 
me see if I can change these spells around. Let's put that there and that there. Oh, you bugger. It is so fast, you don't even have time to smack it. Yeah, it doesn't. Yeah, that, 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 that's insane. <laughs> doesn't what the hell I mean I was aiming at it and it didn't that is BS pull it back it's gonna squish me I mean, I can't even cast two spells on this. Like, it, it doesn't even do that. That's, that's, yes. See, it didn't even work. Why this is so bloody frustrating. I mean, you can't even use four to like pull it like the other ones. It doesn't work that way. Now I died. It's got squished. <laughs> what? Oh, uh, sorry, Beaver. <laughs> My stream elements have been totally bonkers, and I accidentally um, clicked the wrong button there. Sorry, but welcome. Thank you for the raid. <laughs> My stream elements is, is just being weird today. But the, the hide was accidental. My bad. <sighs> Getting frustrated. But thank you for the raid and welcome, Eva Raiders. I am struggling my butt off. 
doing this quest. Shit from the top. Uh, let me see. Maybe I could stick it in there. Ooh, I can. Hold on. I've got an idea. Now I can get to these ones. And then I can. Go for Pete's sake. Fuck. That's the last of them. Seems I was a match for Herodiana Burn after all. Diana's ensemble. It is remarkable. No wonder Sophronia wanted to see this. Pretty sure that's the way that the flippers did it as well. Have I ever mentioned that I absolutely hate Tetris? <laughs> that just gave me Tetris vibes. You saw nothing. Hey, Spasty Cube, how are you doing? You've seen it done in another way? Like I said, I've met... Oh, over there. Let's try English. I've watched a couple of people do it, but I wasn't paying attention because I don't want it to be spoiled when I do it. But maybe I should have paid attention. Um, because... I absolutely hate, hate Tetris, the passion. I am doing fine, actually. I'm doing very good, to be honest. Very good. I'm in a very happy mood today. On that one, I should have, yeah. <laughs> I think on the other ones, I'm going to have to do. Because the one I half watched um, Flippers do tonight was insane. I, w I was getting just as frustrated as he was. I mean, it just looks so complicated. I mean, you can't even see where, what, what is he supposed to do. It is insanely difficult. Sophronia, I solved all the puzzles in the Hall of Herodiana. Incredible! Then you found Herodiana's outfit. May I see it? No, you may not. It's mine. It's my precious. <laughs> mm. Of course. Behold. Oh, how grand! You'll look as majestic as Herodiana herself. The greatest Depulso master of all time. You're my second favorite hero! Should have asked you a fee. <laughs> How do I do cabinets? But cabinets is like Meccano and puzzles at Lego. It's not Tetris. Tetris sucks. Yeah, I'm also loving watching everybody stream Hogwarts because absolutely everyone is doing it differently. I think that's what makes this game so popular is there's so many ways to do it. There's, it's not just one way is the right way. You can do it however you please, which is freaking amazing for any game to do. I mean, it's no wonder it took six years to bake. To, to bake. They baked they bake this game. God. It's where I'm baked, which I'm not, by the way. I don't, I don't do bake, that kind of baked.
What was I doing? Oh, okay. Let's go do this. <laughs> Also, uh, no, I don't. One collection chest. A mechanical mind can figure it out. You know, I do have a mechanical mind, but that is something else. The horrible Tetris. Yeah, me too. But yeah, packing stuff in a boot. Right? I can I can pack anything to like millimeters. But don't give me Tetris. My mind just goes into no mode. Just no. I'm not crazy about this game. I'm, I'm really not. Hello, Samantha. Are you here for Summoner's Court? I am. I'm actually rather good at it. Used to play <laughs> all the time with my brother until. Oh, never mind. Shall we begin? Yeah. Yes, I'm ready to play. Then let's get summoning. I think it's just the game Tetris that puts me off. Oh, I I saw the when she played this. Those little circles are a nuisance. Yes. <laughs> um. Back here. Hmm. Sensational! Akio! What was I thinking? I don't know what you were thinking. Almost. Oh, how am I to top that? Akio! You're not. You can push mine into the blue. Don't mind. Yes! <laughs> stop, 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 stop. Damn it! Oh. That was off? Are you kidding me? After your poor show against Natty in class, I thought I could beat you. Are you what? Appears I overestimated myself. Don't say that, Samantha. You're a fine player. Well, that's very kind of you. Let's just say if I'm good, then you're better. I happen to know who you're up against next, and she's no shy opponent. Best of luck. Uh, you great with 3D puzzles? Yeah, same, yeah. I'm, I'm awesome with 3D puzzles. I mean, I, I build cupboards and stuff. I love doing that and figuring out how things go together. Which is kind of like Tetris. I, 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 get, I get what you're saying. <laughs> Lewis, please. <laughs> Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. Um, some of my YouTube content, yeah. That's <laughs> exactly what I was thinking. I don't know. Cute puzzles just puzzle me. Because I'm not there and I'm not physically touching the stuff and 
standing there figuring it out I think that's what makes it difficult and this only gives you it doesn't give you an, a, a view from the top or the bottom it just gives you like an angled view I think that messes me up as well Ah, oh, no worries, Spastic. You can punch your stuff. I don't mind. We all support each other anyways. Yeah, I can put stuff together in my head as well. Like, I can literally build stuff in my head before I build it, like, physically. Which annoys everybody around me because I sit and... Because I will literally sit and stare into nothingness and start building things in my head until I'm happy with it and then whoever's thinking I'm doing nothing because I'm literally staring into space building stuff and then I will go to like AutoCAD or something and draw the plans oh sorry hiccuping and build the plans according to what I built in my head I've got a very mechanical artistic mind which is um, fun <laughs> for me it's fun <laughs> a Rubik's Cube? I actually have a steam game with a Rubik's Cube I used to love those was as a kid There's locks. Can I open them? No. What are you doing up so late? I'm kicking the bucket. And level two. Where are the animals? Ha! And this is probably also level two. Oh, it's inside. Never mind. Never mind. Yeah, I had tons of those things. But we had a lot of physical toys. Of course, my favorite toys was my Legos. Because it was... My country was very, very sexist when I grew up. Like boys weren't allowed to play with girls toys and girls weren't allowed with to play with boys toys you know Rebellion. very very sexist pungent passage this passage is relatively nondescript as far as, far as passages go however this m mishandling of a crop of mimbleless mimbletonia in the 16th century and the accompanying tsunami of stink sap left with a rancid odor that even the strongest scouring charm cannot seem to eradicate. Ew. Stinky. There's a lot of stuff down there. How do I get to you guys? Hmm. Had an original? Ooh. Yeah, and I so badly wanted a Meccano set, but it, it was considered boys' toys. So the closest I could get was Legos. And even school, there was like boys school which is technical engineering motors woodwork and then was considered girls school which is cooking accounting and stuff like that and i just refused to go to that school i was just like i can learn how to cook and clean at home why the hell would i want to do that at school so i went to a technical school called a technical school yeah and I learned how to do motors and woodwork and mechanical engineering and stuff like that. 
And then I went to art school midway of through my high school, which was so much fun. I absolutely loved art school. You're able to solve quite a few types of Rubik's Cubes and have gotten a collection of them, including your favorite one, the square one. It's solved in its solved state, it's a cube when it mixed up. Oh, and Hot Wheels. Ooh, I loved Hot Wheels. The Lura Roading the World. <laughs> right? I mean, I get the accounting and stuff, but cooking and sewing and you I can do that at home. My mom taught us that. And you do like a test when you're in high school, you lost, well, not in high school, you're what you guys would call primary school, up in yeah, primary school, whatever, middle school, that's what you guys call it. And like at the end of primary school or middle school, you do this test that says you are either technical or, um, I don't even remember what you call it, non-technical. and no matter what your results are if you're a girl you are not technical that, that was just unheard of and all of us all three girls we three girls and a boy all of us said we're going to technical school i couldn't even do woodwork in middle school because i was a girl and i just refused to do sewing at school i'm just like well then i won't do anything and i just found it so unfair that i wasn't allowed to do woodwork as a girl in primary school. It sucked. I hated primary school. Yeah, I'm very anti discrimination against anyone for wanting to do something that has nothing to do with something else, you know? My hands and my private parts have nothing to do with each other, and nor does my brain. I don't get why they mix the, the, those things up. It just annoys me. And it annoyed me as a child. <laughs> Art and science? Mine too. When it's mixed up, I can make a more full version of the logo I'm using as my... Ooh, cool. Oh, that's nice, spastic. I actually went to a course on how to practice using both sides of your brain simultaneously. It's absolutely extraordinary. Because my, both mine work as well. I mean, I've got the arty side that's I'm extremely creative when I want to be. Very lazy though, to be creative. And I've got this extremely engineering side of me that math and, you know, do that kind of stuff. So it's 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 fun. I like it. Wait a sec. Where are you from? South Africa. You from Joburg? Far oh, South Alberton. I used to live in Midrand actually. I'm living in Pumalanga at the moment. Your hands in your private. <laughs> <laughs> Not like that, Lewis. <laughs> Q? <laughs> uh, yeah. I will call you Cube then. <laughs> as much fun as that is. <laughs> You like mushed my brain now. No, I don't remember what I was gonna do. Um, shadow of the estate. What is this? Okay, let's go do this because this is also a good quest to do. Track.
Oh, that's awesome, I Cube. You're also South African. Did I ever subscribe to your channel? I'm sure I did. I've been so busy lately. I mean, with getting monetized on Twitch, I've been insanely busy on there. The reason you called your space to cube is because of the square one puzzle actually. You can solve that one too. Oh that is amazing. F. That's F and wait. You made it. No, I slept yeah, dude. Really? Enjoying the view? Keeping an eye on things. Feldcroft isn't what it used to be. No one has felt safe here since sleep. Ranrock's loyalists took a peculiar interest in that castle over there. Rookwood Castle. My uncle Solomon is a former Aura and refuses to look into it, even after Anne was cursed uh, by thank one of you, them. Beaver. Possibly with a wand, no less. I heard a goblin refer to wizard kind as wand carriers. Are goblins forbidden <laughs> from carrying <laughs> wands? Precisely. That's why I'm on the hunt for answers. If I'm to cure her, I need to understand what happened to her. Anne was always the most mischievous of the three of us. Which is saying something, knowing me and Ominous. I'm hoping a yeah. surprise visit from me and a new friend from Hogwarts will help lift her spirits. Bring back the Anne I used to know. Come on, I'll take you to my uncle's. You're ready. This way. They are like a shop. Feldcroft used to be a lot livelier. With That's Ranrock's lot wandering about all the time, everyone stays out of sight. Needs to wash his face. <laughs> Here we are. My sister should be just inside. Yeah, Beaver, I actually didn't think I was going to get that so soon. Aha! I was really surprised. Sebastian, where did you... What I think it is. We've been over this, boy. Hey. Shrivel figs cannot reverse a curse. Mm. Nothing can. The Rain sooner you accept that the reality, the better. Pot. But we haven't tried everything. There is no cure. When will you accept that? Never. I can never accept it. <laughs> Tell them what you've done. Not as far as I know, Lewis. I know he once said that he's not I'm monetized on, on uh, Twitch. If you don't Twitch. mind, I just need a moment alone. He is monetized on YouTube, so he's not, not the visit he'd hoped for. worried about Twitch. He did say that in, in a stream once. But as far as I know, he's not monetized because Twitch is very, very strict with um, dual streaming. So the stream I did on Twitch today, I can only put on YouTube 24 hours after I've streamed it on Twitch. So tomorrow I will add chapter 12 to YouTube. But I mean, those streams of mine are short, so I don't know. I'm, I'm in two minds about YouTube and Twitch because I really, really like my crowd on YouTube. But I, I need a thousand viewers, subscribers to become monetized on YouTube. And then obviously I need 4,000 watch hours. I think I'm on two and a half thousand now. But still, I'm, I'm, I got three average views. I had to get three average views and I think eight hours was a 20 hours of streaming and eight different days of streaming to become monetized on Twitch. Now getting a three average 
on which is kind of hard when you have nobody watching um, for over a month it was 2.6 average and the minute you have a stream without people watching it brings your average down like very badly but with Hogwarts I had like five between five and eleven people in my streams every time so that brought my averages up like instantly and that's why I became monetized and I think it's really stupid that Twitch doesn't share you know because a lot of my YouTube viewers have been supporting me on Twitch but still I don't want to give up my YouTube viewers because this time this time of night on on Twitch I have no viewers so yeah why can't they get along it is stupid I mean they can ba both ba blah, 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 blah. both make money you know I'm sorry about earlier those bouts of pain are difficult to bear so now I'm kind of torn in two because I don't want to give up YouTube and I don't want to give up Twitch <laughs> yeah. are you all right Anne I didn't mean to intrude. You didn't, truly. <laughs> and I'm all right. The pain from this curse comes in bouts, and often suddenly. It's not anyone's fault. It's nice to meet you, by the way. You must be the new fifth year Sebastian told me about. I am. Sebastian and I met during a rather lively duel in Defense Against the Dark Arts. Oh dear, Professor Hecate. She's a powerful witch. And she knows how to keep students like my brother, and me, in line. I do miss Hogwarts, but I wouldn't mind being at Feldcroft really if it wasn't so dreary now. Between the goblins at the castle and my uncle fighting with Sebastian whenever he's home, it's not the cosy retreat it once was. Sebastian mentioned something about your uncle being an ex-Aura, but refusing to go after Ranrock's loyalists. I must say, I wasn't prepared for him to be as angry as he was. Uncle Solomon is frustrated by what happened to me and by Sebastian for thinking he can fix it. They both mean well, I know they do, but my uncle is right. This curse cannot be undone. I can feel it. Sebastian cannot take away my pain. Perhaps you can help him to understand that. I'll do my best. I can promise to speak with him about it. Thank you. His search for a cure is futile, I'm afraid. I'm getting tired. I should probably rest. Thank you for stopping by. Well, with an attitude like that, it is futile. I wish you well. Toodles. Yeah. I was gonna stick with YouTube, but it just... I mean, I've been streaming for, what, six months now? And I'm on... 209 viewers and that is kind of slow I mean I I put a lot of time in streaming so for me not to get monetized quickly is, is a bit of a problem you know I don't want to do all this work and spend all this time doing this boy will fray my even though it's nerve. fun and I am enjoying it I mean you know it still does, it needs to pay for itself Recordings? My recordings didn't even get views. Like, at all. I only started getting more viewers once I was live streaming. I started in September last year. And I mean, if it wasn't for Booster, I would not be as far as I am on YouTube right now. Because he helped a hell of a lot. And of course, playing Valheim with him was another huge boost for my um, channel. Oh yeah, I've noticed that on Twitch. That that kind of sucks. That's that's why I'm still gonna load my videos on YouTube. Yeah, you found me on on 
boost us. Yeah. Excuse me, Mr. Sallow. Oh, yes, Sebastian's friend. I apologize on behalf of my nephew. He doesn't know when to stop. I was about to check on Anne. Did I see you come from the house? How is she? She's all right. She said she was going to rest. Nothing can be done for her. Need to use the right hashtags. Yeah, I try. Who's who's booster? Daniel. <laughs> hey, Daniel, how are you doing? What's it, my voice? Oh, thank you, Lewis. Well, I'm glad you stuck around. Yeah, I always forget to do hashtags, by the way. Thank you for reminding me. But yeah, I'm enjoying this. Um, I really am. And yeah, it's it's difficult with my family, you know. They like YouTube is not not really seen as how can I put this a job to do, <laughs> you know? But still like frowned upon as a job, or yeah. seen like not worth a, a, your time doing not a real job yeah it's this there's, there's not a um, a mindset like everywhere else where anything can be a job it's very different in this country what they consider a real job to be You know, if you don't, if you, you can't produce instant money or uh, instant income, it's not considered a very good job to have. But I mean, I'm an artist. I'm used to things taking long and forever to come, and you work your butt off and nothing. And eventually something and then it takes off so it could be that you've not yet discovered the cure ah, you, you sound like you're sebastian thinking oh, you know you're better than dinner? the healers at some mongols perhaps the healers don't know everything sir sebastian is single-mindedly focused on finding a way to help his sister if there is a cure he will find it your faith in sebastian is misplaced some sort of dark magic cursed anne and the goblins aren't likely to explain themselves any time soon. Giving her hope is cruel. The only thing to do now is keep Anne comfortable and stay out of the Loyalists' way. You are a sad sack. Shame. Yeah, we are 40 years behind <laughs> with that mindset. Jambalaya. I've never had jambalaya and it looks delicious. You know, hope could be a good thing. With all due respect, sir, hope could keep Anne's spirits up. You may mean well, but I know what's best for Anne and Sebastian. They are yeah. my stubborn brother's children. Especially you, Sebastian. You, you sound like If you really want one. to be of help, you'll make sure Sebastian does what he should do, not what he wants to do. He's no idea the harm he could do if he doesn't stop. You're doing more I hope you'll remember what I've said. Not doing anything. Good day. I ought to see how Sebastian's faring. Yeah, who's the stubborn one exactly? He sounds like the stubborn one. Why will he not listen to me? <laughs> She's They're my all sister. Stubborn. <laughs> if it wasn't for stubbornness, where would we be? You have to be stubborn in finding how are you doing here. Sebastian not you got a not first hand it. glance of what I'm dealing with I apologize for my uncle apologizing for everyone I'll admit I wasn't expecting him to be so angry yeah he's he always angry <laughs> he's been angry since my parents died after Anne was hurt he only grew worse it's as though he blames me somehow always calling me my father's son as if that's an insult 
I'm the one trying to help her. He's simply given up. Both Anne and your uncle seem genuinely convinced that nothing more can be done for her. I refuse to believe that. Anne's pain is more than physical. It has changed her entirely. I miss my sister. And I'm going to get her back. Come with me. I need to show you where it happened. Yeah. Ranrock's loyalists are capable of so much <laughs> more than people realize. They should not be underestimated. It's like, why are you apologizing for them? All the debris you'll see is you're, from whatever's going on at You are not responsible for the actions. They've been digging for something. Up there, on that plateau, is where they cursed Anne. This way. I absolutely love the fact that the NPCs in this game no, I'm run. Not expected to dig through this rubble. It is freaking amazing. It's an honor to be a part of it. Dead wizard in my book. The bastards. Let's get this over with. Rather unwise coming back this way. No! I will make you pay. Ooh. What the hell is shooting me? It's about 30 time you get in the fight. What the hell was shooting me? I think was shooting. Um seems quiet. Too quiet if you ask me. Nobody. So satisfying to do that. <laughs> I love the stealthy approach. Just tormenting them to death. Any who oppose Renrock will be eliminated. Yeah, like you. Dude. Okay, I do not have the right spells for this. Um, where is this one? Mm, I haven't used this one. Let's use this one for a bit. Take a button. He's more in my way than anything else. Ah! 
Oh, that does sound like a good combo. Spell. We <laughs> can doing that. You've made your last mistake. It, uh, okay. You will suffer. Is that such arrogance? <laughs> Best the life. There you are. You call that spell? This game is over with. Your weak human. Hit him. Regret. Okay, you're too fast. Confess, that was a bit more than I'd bargained for. I tried to warn you. Oh my God. No one seemed to manage it. Small damage bar between them. really done any spell sets to be honest just like when I need them <laughs> let me see what did you say uh, where is it Expelliarmus. Do you need to put a Lumo somewhere? Put that one there and that one there. It's 
Idiomas, Leviosa, Levioso, okay. Accio, and also, I kind of like the Gunfringa. This Gunfringa kind of can kill spiders and anything. I'll do that like that. We'll see how that goes. Pam the heck out of your spells? Yeah. I try. Doesn't always work, but I try. But I do prefer going um, in spy mode. Those loyalists deserved what they got. Couldn't agree more. This is where it happened. We smelled smoke in the middle of the night. When we looked outside, flames were shooting from the estate. Before my uncle and I could stop her, Anne rushed out, racing towards the fire, worried someone would be hurt. She came face to face with a horde of goblins, frantically trying to stamp out the flames. Suddenly, an icy voice drifted out from somewhere in the smoke. Children should be seen and not heard. A blinding blast followed. They didn't even give her a chance to run. Seems an awfully violent response to a child wandering by. What were they trying to hide? My thoughts exactly. It may be grasping at billywigs, but I keep thinking that there might be something here that could lead me to whoever cursed Anne. Might be the only way to learn what type of magic harmed her, which could help me find a cure. Perhaps you're right. The loyalists are everywhere, but they do seem to be spending a lot of time here, and it's likely they're hiding something. And at Rookwood Castle. Shall we have a look around? They seem to have set up camp here for a specific reason. They have stations for everything. Um. I've heard that goblin dig sites like these are popping up everywhere. Hmm. So I wonder the ministry isn't doing more. What are you guys looking for? Billy Wings? Always armed and ready for a fight, Ranrock's loyalists. Those are quite pretty. Very Vikingish. Okay, what's over there? That looks like a Merlin trial. Whose home was this? Been abandoned long since I've lived here. Rumour was, a Hogwarts professor lived here once, centuries ago. But that's all I ever heard. It might be worth taking a closer look at the house itself. Yep. <laughs> well, well, I'm glad you guys are, are helping. Because this game can get very complicated at times. It seems we don't need to hide, okay? Because I think I've killed everybody here already. This well looks familiar. Yeah, because we've been here. Sebastian, I've seen this before. What? The house, the well, the view. What do you mean? When? Give me a moment. I'll explain in a second. Where did you see this? Pull me in too. What? Huh? No. I haven't been sleeping so I wouldn't know. <laughs> oh, there's a mirror inside. It's like a mirror of Erised. Are you a mirror of... I don't know, it's a painting. Sebastian, over here. Do you think this was damaged by the fire the night that Anne was cursed? Could be, but it looks to me as though this was intentional. It does look intentional. That looks so cool. I would want a fireplace with a pot like that just for the looks. Because I think that looks absolutely amazing. Sebastian, 
this house did belong to a Hogwarts professor hundreds of years ago. Who? What do you? I found a pensive that day in the restricted now section. Now I remember. With a memory that showed this house. There was a little girl and a drought. The keepers have shown me other memories now as well. I remember. The girl became a Hogwarts professor. Isadora. Her name was Isadora Morganock. She was one of the keepers. The keepers? Like in Quidditch? Oh and goodness. you found a pensive in the library. I'm not following you. Yeah, I realize it's a lot slave. to take in. I'm not even sure I understand it all yet. And no, not like Quidditch. They call themselves keepers because they're protecting some type of knowledge. It all has to do with the vault at Gringotts. Let me see if I've got this straight. No, you, you don't. You have Ranrock and Rookwood <laughs> after you because of something you found at Gringotts where you ended up via a port key. You can see traces of an ancient magic that you think Ranrock is trying to harness. And now you've been witnessing memories left by keepers. Oh, and this house belonged to a Hogwarts professor who was one of these non-Quidditch keepers <laughs> hundreds of years ago. If I didn't know you, I think you were pulling my leg. It is all a bit much, isn't it? When you put it like that. The point is, we both have good reason to search this house. You for answers about what happened to Anne, and me for answers about the Keepers. Look at this. Someone piled this here for a reason. Is it blocking something? Only one way to find out. Yes! Huh, a stairwell. Revelio. Hmm. A stairwell, indeed. Why Ooh. Walking a stairwell. There might be something here worth a closer look. They've left all of this simply strewn about. It tells me they're after something bigger. <gasps> this is beautiful. A second week in the camp, previous palpable fever may pass, a sore man, shred of relief. A journal entry of Isadora's. I should hold on to this. Travel here to learn, should I lose hope? Can I look into their eyes? Saw a man leaving camp. Wouldn't hurt helping him. See? Seems these reading. journal entries are from Isadora's travels. Ooh, what was that? Lumos. Ooh, I can light those things. No, you cannot do that. Oh, they don't light. Lumos. Is that it? Knew it wasn't it. Oh, look You're not going there. to believe this. I can see the Undercroft. What? A daydream? Because that <laughs> happens to me too. <laughs> really? Lumos. Revelio. Wingardium Leviosa. Lumos. It's not what I meant to do. I love that everything is alive. You can see the undercroft. Okay, speak to Sebastian. I know it sounds strange. Honestly, but... nothing you say sounds strange to me anymore. Fair enough. I can see the undercroft through this stone wall, as though it's a window. This has happened before. I'm listening. I think it's to do with my ability to see traces of ancient magic. But you said you didn't really understand it, and that you couldn't wield it. That's true, and I'm still not sure what it all means. What I do know is that my ability allows me to travel through these windows I see. Wait. 
we can get straight to the Undercroft from here. <laughs> Ominous will be flawed. We can, but perhaps best not to tell anyone else about this for now. Even Ominous. Understood. Well then, yeah, because Ominous is a secret magic passageway. Here we come. I'm tempted to hold my breath. You can hold it. Not gonna stop you. While you were watching Casper's stream, the pile of chairs on the other side of the room was so misleading. It took ages for him to find what you just... <laughs> I just kill everything until I find what I'm looking for. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, um, shoot first, ask question later. Why would the door lead us here? <laughs> Sebastian, look. Ooh, snake. Wow. Interesting. Nothing. Oh, there's a bit of something. Curious. What is that? Why hide a triptych here? Seems as if something's missing. No. A note. Let's have a look. What the heck is that? That looks like the the um, things that we had to shoot underground to open doors. Anything helpful in the note? Mm, not really. A rune symbol. I've, I've seen was trying similar to figure symbols out used by the keepers. Why I've been thinking. The we thought it was a keeper lived in that house centuries ago. And or the Ranrock and his lot have been searching there. You said that goblins may be wielding some form of this ancient magic. Yeah, this game is very Do you think misleading. Cursed by ancient magic. I can't be sure, of course, but I don't think so. I didn't see any traces of it around your sister. Hmm. Very well. But that doesn't mean it's not ancient magic. There's still so much we don't know about it. True. Perhaps this triptych will lead us to answers. Then we'll have to unravel what this all means. But now I need to see Ominous. Don't worry, I won't tell him anything. Did I mention that, apparently, Salazar Slytherin had a secret scriptorium here, in Hogwarts? You did not. Sounds worth looking into. Any idea where in the castle? No idea. Ominous just learned of it. I'll let you know what I find out. I had no idea our visit to Sian would unfold into all of this. My head's an utter mess. But I'm glad you told me everything you did. Yeah, no, basically I'll be in touch. About it. Till then. <laughs> You know what, this game, the space, the spaces in this game is very weird. Like every space is different. I don't know how to describe it. Once you've played the, the game, you, you'll understand it. But you get very lost very quickly in a, in a one single space. You can get very confused, like in an instant. It's hard to explain, but yeah. And I think that is why so many people play it so differently. Everybody can play this game in a different way. Because everybody perceives the spaces they're in differently. That makes sense. And every space is so busy. I mean this space it's incredibly busy you can get lost in a tiny little space in this game so quickly it is magic and I mean I'm here and I get lost <laughs> and also you kind of live yourself into this game it's so hard not to live into this game And especially if you're a Hogwarts fanatic or a Harry Potter fanatic, it is so easy to like just lose yourself in this game while you're playing it. Or not lose yourself, immerse yourself in the game. The proper word I'm looking for. 
Um, I want to go get some more ancient magic stuff. This is new. And there's a field guide. And there's a, a vault. Let's go there. Haven't we... Didn't we do this yesterday? Ooh, too far. Sure we did this one yesterday. Odd. And there's a cave underwater. We have to do that. Okay, let's go there. And there's so much to do. It's like you don't know which quest to start and which, what, where, and it's, it's very overwhelming, this game. But it's awesome. Mm, seems a pleasant enough little place. Speaking of which, there's a quest that I swear they named that what they named it specifically as an Easter egg for Harry Potter fans to find. Oh, intriguing. That sounds cool. Can't wait to find it now. Where was I going? Planet Market? That was bright. That's where I'm going. It's a pretty house. I mean, I could totally see myself living in, here, I wonder. in a world like this. So one is up there. Just wipe my ass on it. Why not? Surprisingly, no spiders. Shouldn't speak too soon, should I? Rebellion. Uh, I think I've been here before. Okay, but why am I not seeing the other ones? Where the hell are they? Because this is still active. And what the hell was that flying around? Looks like... Aha! Lumos. I not have the balsa anywhere? Oh dear. That's not good. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. Yeah, so be careful, dammit. Revelio. Yeah, I didn't miss anything. Interesting. Okay, so where would you go? In there. Okay. Um, we got him. And you need to be set alight. Oh. And that did what? 
That's a chest. Oh, oh. Um. Revenia. Huh? Something supposed to open. Yeah. I does. Across the road. Yeah, the pillars shifted. This one was open and now they're not. But what? Maybe something outside changed? Abandoned long ago, no doubt. something different outside. That's wanting me to do this again. Um what? Why? So normally there's the three. What's out here? And of course I'm lost. Sheepherd. Okay, so that is two, but there's only three. One, two, because I'm always the third one. Field guide. That wasn't there before. Locals say this doily was left as a tribute to beloved house elf who dreamt of one day wearing it. Oh, sweet. There's those two things down there. One. There's something down there. Glitched. Confringo. Yeah. Hmm. There's one. This the other one. And that is quite far, I've never seen them that far. It's, there it is. There it is. There it is. Run, damn it. Okay, that is by far the weirdest of all of them I've ever seen. These rocks have seen better days. 
Did I get it? Oh wow, that was a fly button. Where's the other one? That wasn't too hard. Oh, funny. That was damn hard. Wow. Thank you. But they've never been that far apart. Look at these butterflies. Butterfly. Butterflies. Butterflies. <laughs> Really, where the hell are you going? That's not what I said. Run, forest, run. Where the hell did they go? Okay. Decorated ornamental stand. Wonderful. Very useless, but wonderful. Okay, so that one is done. Let's go. Go over there. I want to go do that one in the water. Because I've been dying to do that one, and I keep forgetting to go do it. And it's so hard not to play this game or stream. <laughs> it's no it's like a place right out of a storybook. Oh, I have many quests. Uh, okay. For Pete's sake. Really? I hate to tab on this thing. Um, The elf knapsack and the loom. Must upgrade an item of clothing. I still don't know how to do that. Professor Sharp's assignment. Mm, I don't have the Thunder Brew Potion recipe. The pulse on a levitated enemy, and I keep forgetting to do that. Dandelion keys, I need one key. Um, that I'm to. I don't really want to do that because it's a big ass spider. Sweeping the competition and I can't fly. A friend indeed. I need to speak to her still. Man behind the moon, which I'm busy with. I haven't found many of these things. And the tale of Roland Oaks. Which I should go finish actually, because that's like a ten, level 10. But I've been doing like all the other tiny little side quests everywhere. Which has been really fun. I've enjoyed the side quests like a lot. At the loom. <laughs> you can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented blue powder. Okay, we need to swim to this one. Go before that stupid frog comes near us. Quest I thought you had because you were chasing the butterflies. Okay, on your list. Oh, I've done the main quest to chase the butterflies into the forbidden forest. I've finished that one. Rebellion. But after that, you keep getting it all the time. <gasps> what the hell? Was that? Um. Uh, oh shoot, I'm stuck. Oh no, I'm stuck. 
Let it out. Can I cry now? Yeah, I'm well and truly screwed. Not in a fun way. Oh, that's a clear idea. Very, very clear idea. Thank you. I would not have thought of that. Awesome, thank you. Why the hell did that thing Why just shoot me up? Should we try that cave again? Maybe not at night. Let's just sleep on the floor quickly. Let's try it in the daytime. Um, let's, let's effort. <laughs> oh yeah, same here. But, um, yeah, I, I don't think that way. I have way too much patience. Come on, come on. Come on. I mean, I saw Flipper's fall through his map today, which was very strange. But I'm not going there again. That side's broken. I mean, he was running around the school and he just fell right through the bottom of the floor. Okay, there must be a puzzle here. Oh, there we go. Um, three. I just want to saw something red over there. Hello, froggies. They sound like the frogs in my mom's den. Hear that? They seriously sound like the frogs that were in my mom's den. I've seen Scrap Mechanic. Oh yeah, I have. Glitches in that game have been kept as a feature. <laughs> no well. I actually have a short um, that I did. Because my mom couldn't sleep the one night when the rain started. Rebellion. And it was, uh, we've got the weirdest frogs here. And she's got a huge big dam very close to her bedroom. And the frogs keep getting in there. And driving her nuts, of course. Because they were seen all night. I wonder if you go... I'm gonna try something. Because this is what I was trying to do. Because I see a building over there. And you can't fly here. 
Now I can't find this glitch again. You can see a building in the hole there. See? There was a building just, just there. No, it doesn't want to glitch. There we are, See, there's a building there. Curiosity is going to freaking drive me insane. Don't put buildings there and I can't go in, in there. Damn it. Hey Solo, how are you doing? Yeah, and the, these frogs sound like... It sounds like someone's got a cell phone ringing somewhere. And it sounded exactly like those frogs. Well, sort of. Very close. Those frogs. Okay, we were going across the pond. Yeah, it must be it's possible that we are going there. Oh. Because there is a cave entrance here somewhere. A castle. Must have been quite stately in its time. Avelio. Ooh, lots of presents. Confringo. Let's clean it up a bit. And we repair and move in. Back there. There's a thing here. Loot first and then puzzle. Oh, that's cool. Nice bed. Well, it was a nice bed. Just not sure of the hay. But hay. <laughs> Ooh, something. Um, we need to get up there. Okay. We you, oh, did I just uncover a hole in the floor? No, there's some money in a hole in the floor. Punk. <laughs> Number one rule pillage, then burn. <laughs> that bed was all used. <laughs> Absolutely. Really? Did you not? I'm surprised they um, actually 
use the word four eyes. Velio. Planet bureaucracy. I'm surprised nobody has. Ooh, I, I, I miss some money. Ancient money? Why would you do that to me? Terrible. Oh, this is the star thing that I haven't unlocked yet. Freaking sad. Jump up, man. Damn it. Not that high. I like that it doesn't transport you like immediately. How the hell do I get there? Do I jump over there? Oh no, I can accio it. Hang on. Um, jump up. What was that? I wonder. Let's see. For that, I mean, that works. I don't know why it, it automatically casts um, Wingardium Leviosa when you do that. It's very strange. Not that I mind, I mean, it's a spell that I don't have on my hotbar at the moment. Okay, so what did we do with the other bag? Put on the floor there? Okay, yeah. Oh, it's just weak and wild potions. Oh, that's boring. Revelio. I want money. What the hell was that? Pavelio. Something just exploded. Is there a troll <gasps> under the bridge. Something just exploded like very close by. Oh. Rotting flowers. <laughs> oh, I don't even want to open Steam at the moment. Because it's so laggy, number one. And every time I open it, it wants to... Update. And then it takes forever to go from one screen to the next screen. It's like forcing you to look at the sales. I don't don't wanna look. <laughs> I don't. I was gonna play like three demos and I picked them out and looked through them and downloaded them. And the one wasn't what I expected it to be. I didn't really like it. And the other two seemed really awesome. So I played it for like a few minutes just to check that it's going to run okay and that all the settings are okay. And when I wanted to start my stream, I think it was yesterday, it wouldn't play. It said I had to purchase it. And I thought, well, screw that. Then I'm not doing Steam Festers. And it did it with two games. I was so annoyed. It's like, what the hell? Don't give me a demo and let me download it, test it for like two or three minutes. And then tell me to purchase it if I want to play it more. That really annoyed the crap out of me. 
So that just completely put me off the Steam Fest. Because there's so many games to look through. And that was just literally a waste of my time. And I don't like it when people waste my time. You know what, I have been so busy the past couple of days, I even haven't, haven't even had the time. I just uninstalled the games and just said, well, if that shit, I'm out. Mm -mm -mm. I've raided Brockborough more times than I can count. They're It doesn't sound like bad guys though. Look what it is. Is this be it upon your head when our expectations take flight like thestrals. Be it upon your conscience. Our graves find us all too soon. It is a boycottable offense. That's that's why I don't even want to do anything stream faced wise, like at all. I'm just over it. I shall be having none of you. <laughs> like that's how I'm over it. Someone's going to regret trespassing. Two games in the cart. Well, I had five games in my cart that I bought. <laughs> I didn't say I didn't buy anything. <laughs> I said I didn't want to look anymore. <laughs> oh, I bought a whole bunch of games. Oh, oh. The Bubba Moon coffin there. Oh, hello. Oh, he looks so sad. He's got spots. Oh, he's so cute. Hello, Amora. Can I keep you? I'm only trying to help. I don't want to fall. Bad guys out there. No bad guys. Should have waited. I've had enough of Bellcroft. Hope I never have to see it again. Um, Likely we'll need more wood if we're to not freeze. Seems harshness has her mind. <laughs> You're the one. I like that. Thank you, Q. That was awesome. That works like a charm. I really like that, thank you. I am glad I did that. And thank you for um, sharing. That was an awesome combo. Really I is. wanted this little excitement, I'd have a job at a bank. Oh, don't worry, I'm coming. I'll be very excited. For like a few seconds.
And that one. Yeah, it is that one. Oh no, I didn't see that guy. I need that stuff, thank you. Oh, it's a Niffler. He's a cutie. Well, I'm not going to do the same mistake as with the moon god. You're going home with me. Ooh, wrong way. In a porlock. Now to finish the job. Expulso. Yeah, you are way too many. I'm gonna have to do this. And even this. You made a great mistake. You're the one who released the well, aren't you? <laughs> Wish those things would last longer. Ooh, this one has a cow. Yes, I do. I could do this all day. Yeah, the spells are, are... They come back quicker. That's a very, very potent combo. Body slam to the combo, that would be cool. <laughs> You need a Nobody saw it. You flip in there, that doesn't do much damage. It's more for puzzle solving than anything else, in my opinion. Like, this is more my puzzle solving stuff, I'd say. Um. I'm gonna leave it like that because it, it it works. Revelia. Until I learn a new spell. But that moon craft just broke all. That's a pity. Did they just change into a nasal. That was a Niffler. What the hell? Uh.
Hogsfield needs some stocks after our little visit. Ah. Did you hear that? Redactor! You let Nora Treadwell go, didn't you? Excuse me when I grab those. Ooh. Just get away from her for a bit. Yep, I just did. Jets all there. You saw that, didn't you, sheep goat? This looks like trouble. No, I killed all the trouble, don't worry. Okay, let's go get a. What are you now? Now what's a moon car? And it's beautiful. Let's have. Let's get the spell. That there. Hello, Hamora. Not that um, I'm good at it yet. Let's hope I don't catch it. Really. I mean you no harm. Oh. Where did it go? Got it. Everything's all right now. Mm -hmm. 
That was a tricky one. But that was a freaking Niffler and then it changed into a Needle and then became a Moon Calf. That's really bizarre. Rebellion. Okay, we can't go through there. <laughs> Goodness, not a party to attend by myself. Yeah, we are the party girl. Don't worry. Party goes where we are. Make our own parties. Can't carry more Wigan Wild Potion. Why are you giving me Wigan Wild Potions? Very skimpy on these other chests. I mean, the eyeball chest is like 500 coins. Pop. And then they give you these skimpy ones. Rebellion. That's it. What the hell? What is up? Why is there something up here? Oh, we haven't um, checked out this building, did we? Revelio. Well, that's important. Perhaps not the best place to be caught alone. Maybe the game will give you better loot when you stop warning this stuff. <laughs> Impy <Impy-wop. laughs> Yeah, I should start using them, but uh, um, it's either I lose really badly and die. <laughs> I use the wrong potions. Can't enter while I'm mounted. Yes, I can. Don't tell my aunt. Rebellion. They don't know me. So that is done, it says. Um, I do want to go do some quests. This quest specifically. Because <laughs> I have no idea how to upgrade. Meet with Deke. Okay. Out of curiosity, what are we doing in this area? Is there a quest we were busy with? Pause. I don't remember, I get sidetracked very easily. I 
You haven't noticed already. <laughs> oh, upgrade gear. I never saw that. Wait. I should show Deke. Uh, let me go see if I can put a new moon calf in here. A cutie. Quickly feed these guys. Let's not try and kill them. Oh, those are cute. It's a little fluff. Don't run away, I want to feed you. Hello. Where's the bird? They are so adorable. Can you imagine having an actual real life pet like this? That'd be so cute. Okay, where are you? Get your butt over here, thank you. Looks so violent when you brush them. So Smack him over the head. There we go. Hello. Oh, he's so gorgeous. You can rename them. I don't have an auto feeder yet. I just got my animal um, thing. <laughs> Patiently waiting for me to rush him. Oh, oh it's deep. <laughs> Adorableness. I suck at names. Let's go see what he wants. I use the enchanted loom, Deke. Wonderful. Will I be able to weave even more powerful magic into my clothing with the loom? You will, by rescuing even more powerful beasts. For now, however, Deke suggests you explore the vivarium and get to know the beasts you've already rescued. Thank you for your help, Deke. Okay, done. I do like this. 
Meet me near the ruins of Falbarton Castle. After Ooh. dark, do not tell anyone. Ah. Take things. You should Strange be Strange behavior. Ooh, I've got new clothes. Mm. like organizing my stuff. Practical. Just a dash of OCD. <laughs> Terms and scrolls. Oh. Let me see. I got new gloves. Not Do we lose everything that we've done? Well, we haven't applied a trade to that, so we're not losing anything. I can go sell those. Don't get anything good. No. Let's unclick these. Um, oh. oh, I've got two points now. I can spend. Definitely one there. Um, I'm gonna save that one. Thousand two hundred gold for an auto feeder. Oh, that's not bad. Video, because that's an alphabetical order. <laughs> that's awesome. Spielcraft. Spielcraft. It has multiplayer. We're talking about a game. The bunch is gonna play. I'd have to check that out. Ooh, I got new clothes. Rodi oh, hey, Rodiano's cloak. That looks almost like a French school hat. Almost. Not quite, though. Cute. 
paints enclosures for a vivarium. Why would I want to put enclosures in a vivarium? Makes no sense. I don't want to keep them all separate. Them, it's all just go and do their thing. All just get along. Maybe if the space was bigger and flatter, more open. Ooh, that's a new not never there. New mask. And inject ooh night. We got a new one. Now we need twelve more of those hot spots. Wow. What oh that's a lot. Oh and this is new. Five more beasts and one more. Oh, one more. Then we get a trade recipe reward, ancient magic one. Nice, what is this? Looks like some other building in the room of requirements. Interesting. I definitely want to see what that mask's, mask looks like. Wingardium Leviosa. Meet Natty in astronomy class. I want to do astronomy class because I've missed a bunch of... Um, I've seen a bunch of astronomy stuff that um, I could have done. So I want to get that done. Spellcraft? Oh yeah, I've seen Spellcraft. It looks pretty good. Life is futile, your own. Do things at once. Go to Hogsmeade to get the Spellcraft. The Autofeeder. There might be other reasons to keep them separate, but none of them apply at the moment. Let's see. I think there might be something to do with breeding the rescued... Oh. Yeah, that could be problematic, I see. Okay, let's go do astronomy quickly while we are here in the castle. And then we'll go to Hogsmeade. How nice to see you, my young friend. And your reading oh, wow. is the, the dragon. dragon. That's exciting, I suppose. Perhaps you're due for an adventure. Yeah, right? It's so Ladies, weird. Ladies, Professor Shah. Astronomy is not divination. You won't find the mysteries of the cosmos charted out on your palms or at the bottom of your teacups. Alas, the heavens remain hazy to the starry eyed. Now, if you were to devote yourselves to persistent and painstaking observation, you just might catch a glimpse. With that in mind, please take your telescopes. Tonight we will be on the observation deck. Yeah, she's pretty cool. I love the, the green... Um... Still don't have your own? You can't be the new student forever, you know. You can share with Mr. Takar. Here, I can adjust that for No, no, bring it into focus on your own. Bring what into focus? I don't see the damn thing. You have to move your whole mouse. Now, I expect That's all of you to put in your stargazing hours outside of class. Is that yeah, clear? Yeah, she's, she's fun. Professor, it's freezing out. 
mere cold didn't stop the great stargazers of the past. Look only to the astronomy tables they erected throughout the highlands from which they gazed millennia ago on the very self-same stars above us. Is that clear? <sighs> Dismissed. It's time to have a class oh, when it's cold. I'm Amit. We met in potions class. I'm happy to report that we've yet to have any explosions in this class. Oh, <laughs> hello, Amit. Nice to see you again. Did I hear Professor Shaw say that you don't have your own telescope? I have a spare one you could borrow for the rest of term. Mm, thank you. That's very kind of you, Amit. Are you sure you won't need it? I'm certain. It's my old one. I finally got my hands on the new Celestia Contemplor. You've heard of it, I assume? I mean, of course you have. It's only the pinnacle of all personal stargazing implements. But my old model's not too shabby either. Goblin cut glass, first rate optical enchantments. Hate to think such a fine instrument is just collecting dust. Well, uh, I thank you, Amit. Think nothing of it. Anyway, the telescope's in the storage room right underneath us. You can't miss it. I have some uh, reading to finish on the lower deck. Come find me there afterwards and bring the telescope. There's something I want to talk to you about. Sure. Which one's put off my stock? Uh -oh. Where the hell? Really? That underneath us. How is that underneath us? Professor Shah is just about as cold and distant as the bloody stars she wants us to chart. <laughs> Not how I wanted to spend my evening. Revelio. Ooh. Well, hello there. This was his old telescope. Looks practically brand new. A pristine night for stars. Professor Shaw, I'm interested in learning more about astronomy. It is increasingly rare to find a student who seeks after things celestial of their own accord. <laughs> but if you truly desire to chart the courses of the cosmos, you must rid your mind of the terrestrial babble of others. We ourselves are not unlike blank star charts, you know? Empty canvases waiting to be inscribed with all that the universe has to offer. Do you understand? Thank you, Professor. I look forward to stargazing. I am glad to hear it. Should be a stellar night for it. Funny. You are a funny one. The perfect night for... Oh, hello again. The other way to the left. No, not that left. The other left. The left of the left left. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't help. Like, like it's got a couple of seconds delay as well. But I am looking at the time and it is way past my bedtime. And I am starting to get tired. <laughs> I would love to play some more. Thank you everyone for hanging out with me. I really appreciate it. But I am... Casper Stream Streets. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm, I'm very chilled. Very relaxed. No rush. Exploring one room at a time. 
Revelia. And I don't mind that it takes me longer to do stuff. It's more fun this way anyway. I enjoyed chatting with you guys too, so. But yeah, I am going to end it here. I am really tired. I've been yawning my head off for the past five minutes. And then I realized that way past my bedtime. I will definitely be streaming again tomorrow afternoon. Probably on Twitch again. And then YouTube in the evening. And thank you. Hope you guys have a wonderful evening or afternoon wherever you are. And I will catch you in the next one. Okay.